Carrera Cup GB, round six here at Alton Park. Lights are red. Lights out, blast off. Cambridge gets a good start. Storms away from pole position on the run down towards Old Hall Corner. Dino Zamparelli defends from Charlie Eastwood as they work their way now through the right-hander. Are we all going to get through safely? So far, so good. And they make the run through Denton's and now down towards Cascades for the first time. Eastwood up the curb at Denton's. He's on the tail of Zamparelli. But Camish already putting a bit of a gap. Absolutely perfect start from Camish. The back of the car sat down. There was no wheel spin. He just launched it away. Yeah, on board with Lewis Plato as he holds a good line through uh, Cascades and gets a good run down the, the back straight towards Ireland, but there's no room at the moment. It's a really tricky braking point for the Porsches here. They brake just before the little hump which sets the car light. And of course, the front end of the car quite light on the Porsche, engine in the back, really tricky to get the car stopped. So Camish leading, and look at the margin now, 1.7 seconds over Zamparelli and then Charlie Eastwood in third place. That's where the fight's going to come. Yeah, uh, Camish with the fastest lap on the last uh, lap. He's now very quickly built a, a 1.7 second gap over Zamparelli. This is more than he had yesterday. Lewis Plato might be quicker, but he can't find a way through, or can he? Now he makes a move up the inside of Cascades, desperately late on the brakes, but he's done it. Seizes the opportunity. No well, second invitation needed, he's coming through. That was a great... I always used to love passing there because it catches people completely unawares. And the thing I love about Lewis Plato is when he commits to a move, he absolutely commits to it. He doesn't just get halfway alongside and then have the other car wonder whether to close the door. He absolutely puts the car down the inside and then the other driver will not turn in. Fabulous move by Plato. So he's made a pit stop, he's gone back out, and there, diving up the inside, is Graham Mundley. Here's what we prepared earlier, except this time, he doesn't run wide and he keeps the place and he's made it stick. So Graham Mundley now up into 12th place. Yeah, no coming back that time for <laughs> Seamus, but uh, these two giving each other lots of racing room and passing and repassing exactly what you want to see in the classes. Peter Carl Henney is the man leading in Pro-Am 2. And he's about to work his way out of Cascades in pursuit of the Pro-Am 1 leader, Justin Sherwood. There he is, another driver who was caught up yesterday in the first corner dramas. But Justin, if you go back at least a decade, a decade plus, was a regular in Formula 3 in the UK. And uh, he's come back into racing and a spin for Graham Mundy. So he's had one drama at large, he's had a spin at Ireland Bend, tries to get going up the big sausage curve he rides and rejoins in danger of losing more places. That was a manic Monday, wasn't it? So he's back in the race, but time lost and a place given away as well. Meantime, remember Dan Camish, he still leads. He's 2.3 seconds up the road and Dino Zamparelli is still second. Charlie Eastwood is still third and Tom Oliphant fourth is definitely being caught now by Lewis Plato, who last time did a personal best lap half a second quicker than the lap set by Tom Oliphant that he's chasing. So they could get themselves together by the very end. Dockerell is on the tail of Fair Brother down towards Lodge Corner. This, remember, is for 14th overall and it's a Pro Am 2 fight. And you're absolutely right, Lewis Plato is really on these, less than a second away from Oliphant. That's going to be the battle for fourth place. And Lewis Plato creeping up onto the back of Tom Oliphant. Grabs a gear on the paddle shift, then stands on the brakes, goes down through the box and turns into Lodge right on the back of Tom Oliphant then as they head through Deer Leap now up over the rise and then the timing line. The leaders go through. We've got four and three quarter minutes to go. Plato not close enough to make a move at Old Hall, but he's nearly there. It could come at Cascades if he gets a good exit out of the first right-hander, which he does. He's got the momentum. Let's see, is he close enough to make that move? Tom Oliphant tries to defend. Plato thinks he commits and he goes through. Great move. Oh, that was fabulous. For second place, it's still Zamparelli, but only just. Charlie Eastwood is throwing everything at this, isn't he? He really is, isn't he? And there is Dan Camish, who's going to score yet another win in Carrera Cup GB. I'm not sure they really need to take P1 off the board because he has done so well ever since he came into Porsche racing. And here comes yet another victory. Oh, oh that's not accident. Yeah, and is that going to be an interruption or a stoppage even? Because there's debris on the road. It's Fairbrother and Dockerill, isn't it, who've got themselves together coming out of Ireland Bend. That is David Fairbrother's car with a lot of damage, liquid leaking out onto the road. There's a minute and a half to go and a red flag race stop. Well, that will be a result. Uh, Dan Camish will be disappointed about that. He didn't get to take the uh, the chequered flag in front of uh, a nigh on thousand uh, uh, supporters from Nationwide Accident Repair, but he has taken the win nevertheless and uh, has increased his championship lead.